put that psalms chapter 8 verse number 2 see yeah out of the mouth of babies and infants you have founded a bulwark because of your force to silence the enemy and the avenger now what does the scripture say out of the mouth of babies okay god has ordained strength to destroy the devil or the enemy why i'm showing the scripture is every time you open your mouth and say thank you jesus praise you jesus you open your mouth and praise him it says even a small baby even the infants when they open their mouth and praise what happens that praise that goes out of your mouth actually paralyzes the devil have you ever felt uh, when somebody is appre- appreciating maybe the teacher is appreciating a student very good well done somebody else feeling jealousy happened yeah yeah you don't like why is every time teacher coming and saying now every time you open your mouth and thank god and praise him the enemy the devil he gets irritated what happens he gets irritated not only he gets irritated but he becomes powerless but usually what we do when we face a problem we thank god or we complain we murmur right we ask questions we say why god did this there is a story in the bible when i say story it's not just story it's a real incident there is a king and this king his name is king josephat three nations came against him and king joseph had called all the people for a fast and they started to pray and then god spoke to them through a prophet saying this battle is not belongs to me this battle is not yours you know what this king does does he have a army yes does he has soldiers yes usually when you go into a battlefield who will be in the first line first row soldiers you know whom he put in the first row you know whom he put in the first row the musicians he gave them what you know not not the gun and not the sword he gave them guitar and all the musical instrument i want you i want to ask you if you were in that place as a musician will you stand in the first row three countries are coming against you will you stand you know what they were singing lord your good your love and your mercy endures forever now did they say okay god said this battle is his battle not my battle so let me go and sleep did they go and sleep or did they march towards the battlefield they marched but did they go with the weapons or did they use the weapon called praise did they all started singing lord you are good your love and mercy and yours forever yes now as they began to praise lord you are good your love and mercy and yours forever as they went into the battlefield there was a confusion be- between the enemies and they all fa- started to fight among themselves and everybody was defeated by the time when they went everybody were on the floor dead there was no enemy this is in the old testament in the new testament our enemy is not flesh and blood our enemy is the devil every time you face a problem actually god is not forsaken you that's what you might be thinking where is god why is he not answering me why am i in this situation why am i going through this 
but let me tell you god has given you a weapon to still your enemy see the last line to silence the enemy and the avenger god has given you a weapon to destroy your enemy if you think you are in the midst and tribulation and you are seeing the enemy is attacking you day and night and if you think god is not doesn't care for me he doesn't bother for me that's a lie god has given you a weapon and that weapon is what praise it's very nice to praise in the retreat when everybody is singing correct but when in the midst of the problem in the midst of trial in the midst of difficulty is when you have to open your mouth and praise him because that praise is the weapon god has designed to destroy the enemy i don't know when for you when i open my mouth and say every time thank you jesus i know the enemy is tormented because there are many times i don't even know what is the danger do i know i don't know i don't know what the devil is planning through whom and through what i don't know maybe when i am stepping out the devil is planned already to bring an accident i don't know but every moment i choose to open my mouth and praise him and every time i praise him i don't know how many times the devil gets completely paralyzed he becomes he cannot even touch me you know why because you cultivate a lifestyle of thanksgiving and praising him and that's how you walk in protection why because god has given you a weapon to still the enemy that is giving him praise and i see that in the bible i i gave you an example of king joseph what i'll give you so many examples even paul and silas were in prison what they were doing they were praising you know what happened there was a supernatural earthquake that the chains were broken the prison doors were open that's exactly what happens when you begin to praise him and thank him not to get something from him but because of who he is you will see a supernatural power that paralyzes the enemy so every time i say thank you jesus it's a opportunity for you to open your mouth and say thank you jesus to paralyze him every time i say hallelujah it's a opportunity for you to open your mouth and say hallelujah because every see that's what out of the mouth of babes and if even a baby would open his or her mouth and praise the enemy is actually defeated praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus now the thank you jesus should not come the same you have to understand what power is there when you open your mouth and praise him hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus